So these are some of the accessories that come with the Venom Pool 1-6 scale. So his hand, one of, one of the hands that he has here, as you can see, it is really nicely detailed. Like the inside of his hand has a lot of details, um, even his fingers. But the beautiful thing about these hands, I think one of my favorite parts of it, it's actually going to be his nails. So let me here focus on his nails so you can really see the the details on his nails right there like how black those things are and then they look so real like his hand details look at the veins in his on top of his hand basically right here um they look incredibly detailed and then the also i don't know if you can see it but i'll point it out his um his suit basically his suit or his skin is scaly like like a I want to say like a lizard, like a snake. Um, you can see that really detailed right here uh, when it comes to his hands. But yeah, this is one of the hands. Don't want to take too much time on one hand. I just wanted to point out how incredibly detailed this is. Here's um, another one. And in this one, you see him pointing. Um, so you can position it with many different forms as is it's pointing at you or pointing at something when it comes to um, what Venom Pool is pointing at. So I'm gonna try to see if I can focus here a little bit. There you go. You got the details on the nail. So I'll put these to the side and I'll show you these two together um, as they are the same, they're doing the same thing. Uh, now these two here, uh, basically he is actually holding a fist, but there is just enough room right there as you can see it. Uh, to position something inside of him because there's going to be two other uh, hands that he has. So he comes with a set. Uh, so let's call this a set, one set, right? And then, and here we go with the second set. So the second set, as you can see, it's close fist. There is no way for us to put something inside of it. Um, he can't hold anything there. Um, and uh, his nails are basically tucked in. So as opposed to the other hand, let me just bring one so you can see them side by side and compare. The other one has the nails exposed. So these, this is kind of where you just place place it on the, uh, the figure itself. But again, the amount of detail on this is amazing. So the other very cool part about his accessory kit is this, we're gonna call it Desert Eagle. I don't even know what this is so big the the, the gun here um, is huge but um, again a lot of detail to the gun um, you can see here how it's just like if you're looking inside the barrel right it looks nice um, very cool feature here though on it is the magazine so or you would put the ammunition you see it holds about seven rounds maybe more but it has four five six seven right there um, and then you can see the top of it where you can see the ammo right there too as well. So really nice. Again, um, when it comes to the details, the grip, um, you can see it kind of looks fake, but it, it is it's kind of what guns look like when you, when you, if you hold one in real life, um, the grip, it's exactly what it looks like. So it almost looks like if you would think it's like a toy, but that's kind of what they look like. Now the bottom of it, very no detail, you can see where the connections are, where they glued them, the two pieces, um, which is fine because you're never going to be seeing that, but the top of it really nicely painted. Again, nice details. So the other part of his accessories is this cell phone. So urgent call, Let's see if we can see who provides his service. We can't tell at the moment, but if we flip this phone around, he's got the Deadpool logo right there in the center, which is really nice. Um, the camera in the middle I think this has got to be some kind of um, Samsung <laughs> Android phone uh, iPhone would have been towards the side right um, one thing about his face we haven't shown the face but here is his eyes the eyes are interchangeable and so this this is one pair of eyes he is kind of squinting when it comes to the, the these two eyes but you can see the edges of um, the eye itself, like it's, it's stitched onto the mask, which is uh, really interesting and looks really nice when you see the face. Now these eyes, is one, this is one set of eyes. Here is actually the head. Whoa. Here we go. Here is the head, which is, uh, there's two uh, heads with the addition that I got. Um, this one um, has a grin um, where he is just, his teeth are fully closed. Um, 
you know the details on it it looks really nice i think this this face uh if you're looking at it up close you can see details but i think you can see some of the um um i don't know i just don't like this part right here the black i guess i guess but if you look at it from far away um you know and you just see it if you see him standing inside like a uh, you know your stand or wherever you place them it just looks amazing like the distance but if once you start getting close i think i don't like the gums on it but here's the second set of eyes so the second set of eyes is where you're seeing his uh let me see if i can move my finger there the second set of eyes is where he's his his eyes are a little bit closer compare to the other set that i was just showing you we're going to interchange one and one so you can see the difference Here we go. So I brought in the other first eye that I showed you and then the eye that was on the head right here. So you can see it's closer as opposed to this one's more open. Um, here, I'll go to the side and then I'll go to this side so you can really see the difference between the two eyes. Um, see how it looks different there now that it's a little bit more focused. Perfect. There we go. Now he also comes with two interchangeable tongues. The tongues has got to be you got to be really careful. Um, I've been really careful with these, not to place them in, in in places where I think they would break or fall or chip. Um, I got a feeling because it's so thin here at the end that that might be something to be careful with. What's well, got two of them? One of them, as you can see, kind of slopes and then curves to the, I guess, my right. Um, and then the other one goes to my left um, as it, they're both placed the same direction. So depending on how you want him, um, you know, to look and the angle you're putting them, you know, you got two positions, which is really nice. The colors on this, let's talk about the colors just fairly quick. It is a black, but rich black. Like it looks glossy because this is his tongue, you know, and it's got a little hint of purple. I don't know if you can see it in person. You almost can't see the purple depending on the daylight and the lighting. But um, there's certain times where it's just the purple really shines. So I hope I'm doing a good job at showcasing here the color of the tongue so it's amazing it's amazing uh when it comes to this this like these accessories that he has um and then i'm gonna show you now the face which he has basically to be able to put the tongue in so here is the face and these here are other eyes too by the way there's three sets of eyes here so this is the third set of eyes so very open you know like very like excited you know to eat something something new something fresh uh, something tasty. Yummy. The mouth is hugely open. Look at those teeth. I guess canine. What do you want to call them? Just teeth like sticking out of his mouth. It's just his mouth doesn't even have room for all those teeth. You know, it looks kind of gross. This guy probably loves to see the dentist. Probably charges him extra. But here we go. The second set of eyes, and then you can see the details on his head, right? One of the cool things about these heads, too, I didn't point out in the other one, is the back of the head. So here we go with both back of the heads. It looks like this, like his, you know, he's got too much material, or the wrinkles are there on the back, but the tail end of it, so nice. So when it comes to this mouth, though, this is the face that I was saying that you can position. And one thing I would tip I would give right here is once you're done positioning the um, you know the venom pool in whatever place you want to put them and you want to use this go ahead and put the tongue to be last I, I felt like you know again because it's very you got to be careful with the teeth here you saw how I just pulled it um, and you got to be careful with how you position you you kind of almost want to just just tap it in there um, but it goes in perfectly and it holds um, and again, but if you're moving this guy and it's the tongue might easily fall off again because you're just being very careful with it. So um, I, I've rocked it without no tongue just for a while like this because I was careful of he's a heavy guy. He's a heavy guy and I was um, I didn't have no snan or nothing. He was just standing alone on his own. So I was being very careful that making sure that he didn't fall. And if he fell, I didn't want to break the tongue. The feet uh, are huge. Okay, so the table that he's sitting on, 
Um, just taking a look at how wide his foot is. He stands basically alone. There's no stand needed for this guy. He's got enough. I've, I've put him in different positions. Um, I've had him already on different locations and um, he's been standing on his own without any issues so here's a side profile of his foot on, on i guess we could call this his left foot um you know there's some exposure there but it's red so it doesn't really stand out as much but you can see the details again of the shoe um, in the foot but the main thing I like about this figure is that he can stand on his own and that has to do with the size that he is he is he again he is huge um, we'll get a I'll pair him or put him stand him next to another figure that's just uh, one six you know regular one six scale so here is his uh, calf so we're gonna look at his calves when it comes to the back of his calves which is really interesting position to be looking at at the moment but I want to point out look look how details they are but look how you know it's just the outside which is interesting how they did this you can just press in and it's just the amount of detail that's on the outside um, which allows it to be very flexible so there you have a lot of flexibility to move them um, and just position him in different positions that you want you know um, here we have some details here on the side he's got a pocket or so some um, on his right hip I guess you want to say let me see if I can get a better angle here so here we see the pocket on the right hand side looks very detailed as well and it wraps around his whole body his whole leg I should say um, and then he doesn't have anything on his left one but it's just the right one that wraps entirely around um, again this the staples or clamps that you saw earlier that were on his eyes you can really see him on the legs here as it's working its way up um, Okay. so the center portion of this figure um, the belt you know he's got the Deadpool belt there's nothing that comes off here so it's just there it's centered um, so you can see it kind of matches by the way the phone as well as you know the back of the phone a little bit there so um, you have the definition in the abs the 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 skin so this is the suit right and it looks like it's stapled onto him because this is Deadpool and the suit is too small for for venom pool because he's such a big guy so he stapled on he stapled basically the suit onto himself right so very very nice on the details here on the side you can see it hopefully that's doing a good job at focusing in let's let's push this up a little bit so you can see how you see what I'm talking about the suit is just stapled onto his chest right and then it continues into his arms where he can't fit it all the way he just rips it apart um, and it continues all the way into his face but here is his left hand and his the staples of the suit again on how he can't can you just picture it? yeah I'm sure you can picture it as you're watching this like this guy just ripped through his suit but he's trying to put it on because he's still Deadpool and he has certain parts of his body in it but the rest just doesn't fit which is again the amount of detail here is so nice so these are the arms again and then the chest and then you know we're gonna go into his face and the back the back has a lot of to cover as well because he comes with other accessories that I have not talked about and I left those purposely to talk to when we look at his back Okay, so now that we have him here facing his back towards us, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little clamp here, a little covering. Right there, there's one. Here's another one. And in his, um, and then he's got something sticking out here towards the top, which is you can kind of see at an angle, right? Um, see that portion sticking out, and we'll see what that all is good for. But um, as if we move, his vest a little bit to the side you see the suits already breaking as his his like spine is just gushing out of the suit now the feel of the suit is very rubberized which is really nice it gives it a like again besides looking realistic it gives it a, a feel that it's super realistic the back is almost like a cross where again that's got stapled he wasn't able to put it on I wonder how he got those staples in the back but who knows um, and then here's the details on the on his back lower ends of the suit as well 
as you can see we covered this as we were going up but you can see more that we're talking about it um, how it looks which is really nice okay so now that his back is exposed you can see the openings there do you want to talk about the accessories that belong to the back of venom pole so here uh, we have his katanas his swords uh, they're nicely wrapped with uh, as here they're held together by this rope type material um, and you can see the insert there that's kind of where it goes and it goes right there on his back so let me let me put this up so you can really see where i was referring to a little bit higher looks like it and then it just they it, the higher it is the perfect the better it is as they um kind of stick out of if you're facing if you're looking at them from the front you'll see these guys stick out but the best part about these is that these can also be placed inside his arm uh, or hand sorry excuse me inside his hand so you see the the hand or one of the arm hands that had an exposure which is this one you can actually put this thing in there just kind of work it in there a little bit um, and just because of the angle right now I'm not gonna be able to work it in but you can see how it actually goes into that hand and you can put a different position uh, while he has that in his here we go I did want to show you kind of what it will look like and how he just holds and grips you know that is just a beautiful sight to see there uh, hopefully you get a good idea of what he's looking like right with him holding one of the swords oh man that's so nice okay so here is the swords one of them because I'm using the other one in his hand but you can see how it's sticking out if you're facing him it just sticks out very nice on the back right there uh, we'll turn them around so you can see what it looks like on the back and this is what it looks like him having them attached to his back as you can see they just go very nicely in there um, and that is how they're held and again they look they're big but don't they look small when you actually have it attached to his body it looks tiny compared to his entire body and that's how a lot of the accessories look but it's still really nice um, very nice accessories overall Okay, so these accessories are one of my favorite accessories that he has for his back. Now I'm going to do a, try to do my best job to try to show you how long this is. And it keeps going and it keeps going and here's the base. The base comes in two pieces. I've already attached it. You can kind of see the joint there because I haven't pushed it in all the way. But it comes in two pieces this just goes right over it and then it keeps continuing there at the bottom as you can see it i don't know if you can see there you go and that is the piece if it focuses in that is going to go into his body and we're going to put this in but i want to show you just the length it comes this is how it comes out of the box just long and straight and then you get to bend it and do as you wish um, to position this over Ven um, venom Poe's body all right, so here we have the accessories that added right to his back, all his accessories that he comes with. And look at just, it continues to go all the way to the top. And it's just an amazing look when it comes to the length and the, how this guy, and we're gonna turn him around so you can see it, but I just wanted to show you kind of what that looks like and what he comes with. Um, again, you can pos position these in different spots. Um, he only comes with two. Uh, it would be nice if you can go out and get two more because he's got like different spots He's got another area here opening there I took the cap off and then he's got another opening here at the top So ideally you can have a total of four if you wanted to um, The you know, I don't know if uh, the venom actually that's out there already has these and they look the same i'm not too sure because i don't have them um i got a story to tell about that and it's shipping and never came but but you get an idea how this just sticks out to you right these are the caps i'm going to show you a cap here really quick so you can see it um those are the caps that come off his body and hide the uh opening to put that accessory in there um and as you can see i don't know if i can focus there you can really see that there's a hole open right there for one of them so i took off his swords from the back um because i i put the both uh tentacles uh towards the top so they would kind of stick out from the top you can see that right um, and and basically um, when you have them at the top I notice you can't put the swords in the back so I, I can see why 
yeah, four wouldn't work as I was working with it and trying to make it happen. Um, and only two would work uh, when it comes to if you want to use both at the top or you can go at an angle like one at the top, one at the bottom. I think that would probably be best. Um, I think now that makes more sense on how they put these together. Uh, but this, yeah, this is what they look like as he's facing you. Let me focus on the back of them and you see the arch of it. It just comes right on down, you know, as it works its way down. So you can really see uh, how big and long these things are. Okay, so let's take a look here at all the accessories I was able to get on this guy as much as possible. He's got his tentacles, he's got his face with his tongue sticking out, and look at that. He's got a, his gun in his hand, and then on this, his other hand, he's got one of his swords, basically, right? Um, and then I was able to put, basically, like before, like I said, you got to put one at the top, one at the bottom kind of a situation. Uh, his sword's basically the holster on the back that he has. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Look who he's going up against. Deadpool trainee. So Deadpool trainee got his handgun. He's not afraid of a fight. He says, Venom pool, I don't think you're bigger than me, but he does bring a peace offering. So you can see there, he's got a little bit of a peace offering, even though he's right under the gun. But we'll see how this plays out if Venom Pool decides to take over Deadpool and basically finish him off. Who's the real Deadpool here? But this is a perfect example of me showing you basically both of them side by side. I'm going to put Deadpool here in front of them so you get a better idea as they're just standing like a standoff right here, both of them facing each other. Okay, and keep in mind that this is an actual six, one six figure Deadpool. Uh, you can see the belt similarities right on the, on the middle right there. And then you have the swords, the guns, then as it keeps going up, Venom Pool. So awesome to have these, both of these. Again, I'm a big Deadpool guy, so it's so nice to have both of these together. Uh, and again, here's the accessories. Again, I just put them all on the table here so you can just see them all displayed. Um, and no perfect place, shape, or form. But I did want to put these two together. I'm going to put them on the shelf. I'll take some photos. Uh, if you want to follow me, I have an Instagram page for mainly actual images or pictures of different angles and positions. Um, I would love to share it in the video, but I think the videos I'm going to just keep it for um, it's just unboxing and just talking about the figures themselves. Um, and then on Instagram, I'll put the photos so you can guys can want to follow there. Uh, it'd be nice to see just the different, you know, positions I get to put these guys in and then just take photos there and post them. It's a lot easier, obviously. It's, meant, it's what it's meant for, right? Not that YouTube can't do that, but guys, I hope you like this figure. Uh, enjoy it if you have it, if you're thinking of getting it and this uh, talks you into picking it up. He is freaking awesome, man. You need to get this guy added to your collection or have this guy start your collection. You know, why not? This guy's awesome. Again, let's just give it a quick look at all the accessories he comes with. Um, and that is it, guys. Let me know if you want to see something else extra or something different. Um, if I miss something, let me know. Uh, one thing I did miss, by the way, before we leave, on the gun, this actually pulls forward um, or backwards. I think it's backwards. Uh, I forgot to mention that part as I was putting the gun in his hand. Basically, it did it a few times. Um, so, um, very cool feature too on it, by the way. All right, guys. Now that's it. See you on the next video.